Now then, as I have said, in this unique deer hunting endeavor, everything depends upon the season of the rut. I would be very dishonest to tell you that rattling will work any old time. It will not. Buck deer do not fight to any extent except during the breeding season, but at that time they fight much more often than most hunters suppose. You might go for a lifetime and never witness a buck fight. As you know, it is common to find bucks with antlers interlocked. And if you are watched, you will often discover places in the woods where bucks have torn up the ground and the brush during a battle. At first thought, it may seem to you that the rattling method is thus greatly restricted. That is, that the time of year during which it will work well is brief. This is not necessarily the case. For example, during a recent season in my home state of Texas, Bob Ramsey, whom I mentioned, was able to rattle up a buck as early as September. The season was not open. He was simply experimenting. The peak of the rut that season occurred along through late November and early December. Bucks have been observed in South Texas in late January, determinedly running does. Thus, for purposes of illustration, it might have been possible that season in certain areas in Texas to have rattled up a buck probably at any time over nearly a five-month period. Most deer hunters are well aware that when the rut is in full swing, the bucks lose caution in their ardent pursuit of the does. Most deer hunters are eager to be able to hunt when the rut is on for this reason. The bucks are on the move constantly, seeking does, and when they find a willing doe, they are on the move again, chasing her. Bob Ramsey once observed a doe being followed by 11 legal bucks, trotting single file, mouths open, and eyes straight ahead. Needless to say, when bucks are in that mental state, they are easier to hunt than at any other time. A popular belief among hunters is that the rut lasts only a week or so. That is not true. The peak, when all or most of the does are in heat, and most of the bucks eagerly chasing them, usually does occur during a period of a couple of weeks. But much, as we will see, depends on weather. Even though the peak is over or has not yet begun when you are hunting, you still may be able to rattle within hearing of a buck that doesn't know the rut is over. In such instances, early and late in the fall, you will undoubtedly have to keep at the rattling more diligently, make more stands, and rattle longer at each stand to get results. You can easily find out from personnel in your state game department the general time of the rut in your area. Surprisingly, it does not differ drastically from latitude to latitude. Usually, the months of November and December, almost anywhere in the United States, will be the best one. The peak of the rut is fairly certain to fall within those two months. Fortunately, most deer hunting seasons come during these months, too. If you have only a one-week or a two-week deer season, you may miss the very hottest time, but there is just as good a chance that you may hit it perfectly, if not this year, then next. Even though you miss the peak, do not be discouraged. It is reasonably certain that at least some bucks will be interested either avidly or to a lesser degree any time during October, November, and December. <laughs> 